Hi there guys, it's Chris here with SelfMadeNewbie.com and in this video we're going to go through the best bug zappers currently out there today. Now I've kept this list as comprehensive as possible, narrowing it down to my absolute favorite top five picks. So no matter what you're looking for, there'll definitely be something on this list for you. So before we jump in, drop a like and subscribe and hit the bell to be updated with new videos. All right, so as usual, I'm gonna skip all the fluff talk and just jump right into my recommendations. If you wanna confirm what they are, you can go down in the description there and check out that list to also ensure you get the lowest price as well. All right, so kicking it off with my overall favorite, and these are from Flowtron. Now you can go at the BK40D or 15D, depending what you can find. Uh, they're both pretty decent. So this bug zapper is my best overall pick because it has a large coverage area of up to an acre, a self-cleaning design, a limited two-year warranty, and a high-intensity ultraviolet light to attract pests. The lantern is designed to withstand weather conditions and doubles as a decorative light as well for an outdoor space. If the concept of dead bugs makes you feel uneasy, this is the gadget for you as well. After the insects hit the electrified grid, the remains fall to the ground instead of into a removable tray that you have to clean. And not only does this work in your favor, but it's also better for the environment. The device is on the louder side though, but thanks to its range of coverage, you can place it away from your entertaining space, whether that's a fire pit, a patio, a table, or tent. And it's important to note that it needs to be plugged into an outlet though to operate, so you might need an extension cord. So the pros in a nutshell, it has a large coverage area and doesn't require a lot of hands-on cleaning. The cons are, it is louder and brighter than others, but you can place it far away uh, but you will need an extension cord uh, depending on how far away you want to put it. Now the next one on my list is my recommendation for the best value and this is the Live and Well Bug Zapper. So for about half the price of the Floatron, this Bug Zapper is an excellent choice for those wanting to spend less money but still have a quality device. Though it has a significantly lower coverage area at only 1,500 square feet, it's surprisingly quiet so you can place it closer to where you are without being bothered by loud zapping noises every time something flies into it. So like the Flowtron, it features an attractive lantern design and requires an outlet for its six foot cord so you probably need an extension. The light lasts up to 10,000 hours so depending on how often you plug it in, it is suitable for potentially years of use. It comes with a small hook for hanging but you might want to consider getting a shepherd's hook for a sturdier foundation. This also doesn't have the luxury of self-cleaning grids. After the bugs are eliminated, they do fall into a detachable tray. But luckily the tray doesn't need to be dumped multiple times in one night because it is a roomy tray. And when it's time, it is really a quick and easy process. Simply twist the tray off the bottom, discard the remains into your garden and then just rinse it. So in a nutshell, the pros of this, extremely quiet, it built, it's built to last 10,000 hours and it's also a very reasonable price. The cons are is that the cleaning process isn't as simple as self-cleaning models and you'll most likely need to buy an extension cord and a sturdier hook uh, for hanging and plugging this in. Now the next one on my list is my recommendation for a premium option and this is the Flowtron MCE9000. So I recommend this heavy duty bug zapper if you live on a farm, an acreage, or somewhere close to a wooded area. This device is from the same brand as my top pick, but at a much higher price. Uh, but it is worth it for places where the mosquito population prevents you from, you know, just enjoying your nights out on the porch. Plus it's great for restaurant patios, butcher shops, and outdoor weddings even, just to keep flies away from food. There are a few key differences between the MC9000 and the BK40D or 15D. First, the former features 120 watts of blacklight energy, while the latter has 40 watts, meaning the MC9000 has three times the power to attract insects. Another distinction between the two is their coverage. The MC9000 has a two acre radius compared to one acre. And lastly, the MC9000 is larger and heavier at 13 pounds and has a highly durable stainless steel grid. Thanks to those self-cleaning grids, uh, this bug zapper requires minimal maintenance uh, and the manufacturer recommends hanging it about six feet above the ground and 25 feet away from your entertaining space so you and your guests don't have to worry about walking over the dead bugs. So in a nutshell, the pros of this, solid choice for those who live on acreages or farms or even commercial use. The cons are it is a bit pricey and it's really not necessary if you're only uh, needing something for a small space. 
Now the next one on my list is my recommendation for the best cordless option and this is the Kusa Solar Bug Zapper. So those who don't want to mess with an outlet uh, should consider this rechargeable bug zapper. It's perfect for camping trips, picnics and backyards without access to an outlet. Plus, I love that the light doubles as a lantern to help you get from place to place in the dark if you need to. The device comes with batteries so it's ready to use as soon as it arrives and it has two easy ways to stay charged. It uses solar energy and also USB. During the day, the sun keeps it charged via solar panels on the top of the lantern and at night you can plug it into a USB port and have a full battery within about three hours. There aren't many downfalls to this cordless bug zapper other than that its handle can become a little bit flimsy over time, but overall, compact, portable and very easy to use indoors or out. So the pros, the portable bug zapper is really ideal for the outdoors as it's cordless obviously and easy to charge. The cons are that the handle is a bit flimsy, um, but you'll only really uh, have problems with very frequent use. And the final one on my list is gonna go to those looking for just a handheld zapper, and this is the Ficuck handheld electric racket. So think of this bug zapper as really the ultimate fly swatter. It might not be as convenient as the ones that hang there and do the work for you, but it is a fuss-free device for people with small outdoor areas who don't deal with major pest problems uh, or who just want a compact indoor option. It doesn't require an outlet. It's easy to target individual insects and rings in at only about $15. You'll have to check that link to get the best price. The simplified version of a bug zapper ditches the light component and adds a handle with a button that you push when you're ready to hit your target. Hold it like a standard fly swatter or tennis racket, get as close as possible to the insect, push the switch and zap it. Uh, though it has safety features, uh, this is not really suitable for children. The pros in a nutshell, this is an electric fly swatter that allows you to target bugs one by one instead of relying on a device to lure them in like the others on this list. And the cons are, it's not an effective choice for people with large populations of bugs. If you're trying to in enjoy sort of an outdoor activity with your friends, uh, you don't wanna be just swinging this thing around every two seconds. All right guys, so hopefully there's something on that list for you, whether you do have a large area, whether you do need something cordless or just a swatter or whatnot, hopefully I've included something there. If you do have any questions though, drop them down below. And if you found value in this video, drop a like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.